Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the OnePlus 11 and compare it against the iPhone 14 Pro and see which specific phone you should go and pick up. Now, personally, between both, I really don't, I basically have a strong opinion on both these phones, but you can't really go wrong with either one. I think both these phones had some issues. I think they're getting fixed now. If you want to pick up either one of these devices, the links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, as of right now, the iPhone 14 Pro is a more expensive phone than the OnePlus 11, so keep that in mind, but the OnePlus 11 is a bigger phone, it's also the newest one. Now, on the front of the iPhone 14 Pro, we have a 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. Now, personally, I think this display is actually very good. It's a flat display. It's a dynamic island display, so you have this like pill shaped design up at the very top so it's pretty big it's not small and it's more like in your face than i think even a notch would be but i think it's a pretty good display overall there's not too much to complain about it's 120 hertz and it's one of the smoother 120 hertz panels out there i've had a lot of panels i've seen a lot of panels and this is a very good panel for sure now on the oneplus 11 this is a bigger display so it's now 6.7 inches and it's a fluid amoled display now, I like this display too. You know, I think it's a pretty good display. You know, Android on the OnePlus devices has been pretty decent. And although this display isn't, I think, as the same caliber as like a Samsung Galaxy display, it's pretty good. And I definitely don't think it's a bad display at all. Like 120 hertz, very big whole points display in this, you know, top left. I would probably argue that this phone looks better, especially with its curved display, than more so than the iPhone 14 Pro. But I definitely do think the iPhone 14 Pro visibly looks better, but I like the design of the OnePlus 11 a little bit more. In terms of the thinness and thickness, it looks like to me that the iPhone 14 Pro is actually a little bit of a thicker phone than the OnePlus 11. But the flat, the, the 14 Pro has a flat side, the OnePlus 11 has this curved edge to it. One of those things to keep in mind. I don't think it's like a deal breaker or anything, but it's just one of those things. You have a lightning port at the bottom of the uh, iPhone 14. OnePlus 11 has the USB Type-C port. And on the back, we have a very different style kind of going on here. So with the OnePlus 11, we have this somewhat of a, I like the design of the OnePlus 11's camera. I think it looks way more unique than an iPhone camera. You can see that it's like this circular design, very reminiscent of the last generation of OnePlus devices. And then you have this sandstone feeling on the OnePlus 11. On the iPhone 14 Pro, you have the standard camera lens in the top left, and you have this frosted glass back. I think the OnePlus 11 looks way more unique. You can see it actually reminds me more of the OnePlus 7T, if you remember that. And that phone, I think, looked really unique, and this one looks very unique as well. But I am not a fan of the sandstone feature. I think glass on the back is usually the best way to go. This feels pretty good, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel that... Like, it feels way more cheaper than even this one, which this is probably just as expensive to make, probably as frosted glass back, to be honest, at this point. So it's interesting they went this approach, which doesn't feel as premium as the iPhone 14 Pro, in my opinion. It looks unique, though, but just doesn't... It's probably not my, you know, taste, so... In terms of the outside, and that is pretty much how to kind of sum that up. They both have wireless charging. They both have reverse wireless charging. So definitely both phones are, you know, very, you know, they both have some sort of IP certification as well. But I do think the iPhone 14 Pro feels more premium, but the OnePlus 11 looks more unique. Now, in terms of the software and the longevity between both phones, this is where things are pretty much going to be very interesting. I think the iPhone 14 Pro is going to outlast the OnePlus 11 in terms of software updates. This phone is probably going to be the one that's going to be supported for a longer period of time. That's probably what's expected. You know, with iPhones, they are just notoriously just lasting a very long amount of time. But with, you know, the OnePlus devices, they used to last quite a bit of time too. And there might be some development community behind with this type of device. So it's not like this phone's going to be outdated tomorrow. It's still going to be here for quite a bit of time. So you're still going to be in good hands for the most part. But just keep in mind, if you want a longer lasting phone, the iPhone 14 Pro might be the better way to go. Now let's go into a speed comparison between both these phones. The OnePlus 11 has that Snapdragon HN2 HM chipset inside of it with 8 gigabyte, with eight gigabytes of RAM, but it does go up to 16 gigs of RAM, which is actually pretty crazy. The iPhone 14 Pro has that Apple A16 Bionic chip inside of it with 6 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's a faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background except for this one. So let's get into it. Let's go and close out of these. Let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. Okay, iPhone 14 Pro faster. So I'm going to do their cameras. Three, two, one. 14 Pro is way faster there. Let's go and take a photo. So this one was on night mode. This one wasn't. So this one, you know, usually wouldn't take this long to take a photo. So let's go and get out of this one. Let's go and open up this photo. And you can see the 14 Pro again was the faster one there for sure. 
hopping out of this one. So I'm going to their app stores, three, two, one. Okay, the OnePlus 11, you know, OnePlus Androids in general will load up the Play Store a little bit faster. Scrolling through, let's see which one is a faster one or smoother one. The OnePlus 11 seems to be loading it up faster, and it seems to me that it might be a little bit smoother on that device too. You might be able to tell over the camera which one is a smoother one. We just go and kind of scroll through. They're both actually very smooth here. Hopping out of this one, we have some of these third-party applications. We can load up Genshin Impact, three, two, one. Now this is a massive game. I don't think I have it downloaded fully on the iPhone 14 Pro anymore. We'll just go and see which one's the faster one here. And you can see that the iPhone 14 Pro is loading up into that Genshin Impact logo a little bit faster there. And it did load up into the overall game faster than the OnePlus 11. So it's actually kind of an interesting thing there. Let's go and hop out of this one. We'll try Roblox 321. 14 Pro again is the faster one to load up into that one. And we can even try getting into a game. I don't know if we can get into the game at the same time between both 321. Let's go and see what happens. Yeah, so do we can't get into it at the same time. Let's go and hop out of this one. Let's try some of these other applications I have between both. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Okay, the iPhone 14 Pro does look to be slightly, like a little tiny bit faster on that phone over the OnePlus 11, but they're both very fast. You can see it was slightly faster, but not like a big massive deal or anything like that. Hopping out of here, let's go and try stack, three, two, one. Okay, let's go and hop out of this one. Let's go and do another one. Let's do Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, 14 Pro again was a faster one. Let's try something else, Snapchat, three, two, one. Okay, so I think definitely when it comes down to it, both these phones are very fast. I think the 14 Pro might be the faster phone when it comes down to it though. Both these phones were very good. The OnePlus 11 still has like a RAM issue, I think, because it closes out of all these applications in the background. But I do think when it comes down to it, the OnePlus 11, very fast phone, still needs some improvements. The 14 Pro, I think, is probably the more stable and faster one when it comes down to it. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. In the camera department though, like I said, a unique setup on the OnePlus 11. So you're getting a triple camera setup on both, wide ultra wide telephoto lenses. You have 4K 60 on the back. You actually have 8K capability on the OnePlus 11, which is great, but you're only getting 1080p on the front of the OnePlus 11, where the iPhone 14 Pro is actually giving you 4K at 60. So that's kind of a big, massive thing to keep in mind with something like the 14 Pro. Now, personally for me, when I look at the iPhone 14 Pro, this is a very good phone, even though I just dropped it. This is a very good camera. It's probably one of the best cameras you can get on a phone nowadays. I mean, you have the 0.5x zoom, you have, what, 15x zoom in the inside of it, which is great. You have video mode, cinematic mode, slow mode, you have time lapse. It may not have the most amount of features of all time. I would probably argue that the OnePlus 11 has more built-in features, but this is probably a better overall camera. It looks better overall than the OnePlus 11, in my opinion. Now, on the OnePlus 11, on the other hand, very good phone, very good camera, but this camera, I don't think, is at the same level as something like the iPhone 14 Pro. One main advantage for the OnePlus 11 is the 8K capability on the back, and you do have more features, I would say, overall. So if you go under more, you can see that we do have more features, for some reason it's not showing, but we do have more features overall on the OnePlus 11 than on something like the iPhone 14 Pro. So I think that in and of itself is very cool. But other than that, I would say the quality of the 14 Pro is better than the quality of the iPhone, uh, than the quality of the OnePlus 11. So to kind of sum up this video, what I'll tell you is, I think that OnePlus 11 is a good phone. You know, it is a cheaper phone overall than the iPhone 14 Pro. But I kind of think that the iPhone 14 Pro is still the better flagship here. But with the OnePlus 11, you're getting a better display, really decent build quality for a lot of people, you know, good performance for the most part. Still has some RAM issues though. But the 14 Pro, I think, is a better one. It's going to be lasting longer. I think it may have a better looking display, but the d d thing is really annoying, the Dynamic Island, better build quality, better cameras, longer lasting phone. Like, this is probably the better way to go. But the OnePlus 11 is still a very good phone, too. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.